Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the CRM Sync tool with Leadmaster. You're going to be able to synchronize your Outlook calendar, contacts, and you're also going to be able to send and log emails. Before you begin, you need to download the CRM Sync tool from the Leadmaster website. Go to Leadmaster.com. In the top banner, you'll see the Support menu. Click on that, then in the left-hand navigation, click on Download Center. This is where you download the CRM Sync plugin. It's compatible with Windows XP, Windows 7, and Windows 8, Office 2007, 2010, and 2013. Once you've downloaded it, just click the Install button and it will take you through the install process. You may need to disable your antivirus software before you install. Before you can use the CRM Sync tool, you need to make sure the Logon Management Privileges have been enabled for that. Go to Admin, click on Logon Management, select the user that you'd like to enable, click Privileges. In the Offline Mobile Access Privileges section, make sure that the Outlook Sync Access is enabled by the checkbox. After installing the CRM tool, you'll have a new menu item, CRM tool. Depending upon your version of Outlook, it may be located in a different place. I'm using 2010 here. Click on that. You'll need to configure this with your Leadmaster user ID and password. Click on Configuration. Initially, the system is set up to sync only the calendar. You'll need to enter your Leadmaster user ID and password here. Click OK and it'll tell you whether or not you've been successful. Once that's set up, you're ready to go. Click OK. Now let's enter a, an event here in Outlook. And we'll go over to the Leadmaster calendar and enter a calendar event on Leadmaster. You'll notice that the calendar event has not been synced yet. That's because my calendar is set up to sync every hour. I can force a synchronization with the Synchronize Now button in Outlook. But for right now, I'm going to simply enter another calendar event entered on Leadmaster. Click Submit. And now I've got one appointment on Leadmaster and I've got one appointment in Outlook. Go to the CRM tool and click Synchronize. After a couple of minutes of synchronization, you'll notice that the events are now synchronized. The information that was on Leadmaster is now in Outlook, and the information that was on Outlook is now in Leadmaster. You can even change these. So we will change the one that was entered on Outlook. We will change that to, say, 6 p.m. And over here, we'll change the one that was entered on Leadmaster to 1 p.m. We'll synchronize again. Once the synchronization is complete, you'll notice that the Entered on Leadmaster has been updated to 1 o'clock. The Entered on Outlook has been updated to 6 o'clock. And we have the same thing over here in our Leadmaster calendar. Now let's take a look at email. When creating a new email, you'll notice that there's a new button on that page. It's the Send and Log button. So let's go to Leadmaster. And let's take a look at a record. Here we have Bedrock Boulders. The email is for Fred at Flintstone.com. When we take a look at his contact details, you'll see that there's an email history section which is now blank. So let's go ahead and send an email to fred at flintstone.com. I'm going to copy that email address, bring it over to Outlook and paste. Once you've written your email, if you'd like to log this in Leadmaster, instead of clicking the send button, click send and log. So now let's take a look at Fred's record. Go back to Leadmaster, click on Fred Flintstone, 
scroll down to the email history, and you'll see it came from me. It went to Fred at Flintstone.com. We can even view the email. Suppose you send an email, and the CRM Sync tool cannot find a corresponding email address in Leadmaster. It winds up in what's called the filing cabinet. Click on the filing cabinet, and it will show you a list of emails that it could not find a corresponding email address for. You have a couple of choices. You can either attach to a contact, create a new record, or delete this email. To attach to a contact, click that, enter the name of the company, find the contact in there, here I am right there, and click attach to contact. So that's email synchronization. Now let's take a look at contact synchronization. I'm going to quit Outlook. Then I'm going to navigate to my computer. Open the C drive. Take a look in Program Files x86. Find the CRM Tool folder open the sync folder and take a look at the config file CRM sync add-in right click and choose open you can choose to open it with notepad if it's not the default and right here you'll see sync contacts is set for false if you'd like to sync contacts set that for true click the close box and save and now relaunch Outlook. Okay, now that you've uh, set the contact sync for true and relaunched Outlook, let's take a look at the CRM sync configuration. There's a new option here, and that is to sync contacts. You can enable it or disable it with the checkbox. The default is just to sync the Outlook contacts with Leadmaster. If you want to sync all of your contacts in Leadmaster with Outlook, you can do that by choosing this option. For me, I'm just going to sync my Outlook contacts. You'll notice in this example, I've got 1,299 records here in this login, so I probably don't want to sync all of those into my Outlook. So I'm ready to go ahead and sync. Let's go ahead and take a look at my contacts. I have three contacts here. These are going to be synced. And in Leadmaster, it will show me the most current records first when I go to the quick search and hit go. These are on by date entered. So let's go ahead, we'll go back here, and we will synchronize. Go to the CRM sync tool and choose synchronize. And now, this is the initial contact synchronization. It tells me that if I have contacts that are marked private, it's not going to synchronize those unless I specifically tell it to. Select all those contacts and sync them. I'll give it a moment to go ahead and sync. And now we'll go back and we will go ahead, sort by the date entered. Here is a Barney Rubble, our Bedrock Consulting new contact. Now the other contacts don't show up here because they already existed in the system. Barney was the only new contact. Let's go back to Outlook for a moment for a couple of troubleshooting items. In the event that you do not see the CRM tool menu, go to File, go to Options, go to Add-ins, and here you will see your active add-ins. Go to Manage, click Disabled Items, and click Go. Here are a list of disabled add-ins. If you see the CRM tool in this list, click on it, enable it, and then restart Outlook. If you have a problem, it's easy to request technical support click this button. It brings up an email that's going to be sent to support at leadmaster.com. It identifies your configuration and it includes a log file. 
That will help the programmers diagnose the problem. This concludes the video on the LeadMaster CRM Sync tool for Outlook.